Okay, recently a friend of mine gave me a call and asked me if I could do him a favor and show him a little bit about the Digitized Sheep preparation, which took the place of the Digitized Sheep editor in V5. And he was getting lost with Activate. Where did his Activate go? So I'm going to talk just basically how to get into that. Now, if you look at our ribbon down here, you'll note that we have all of our tools from before. Some additional new ones have been added in. Splits and extract large cloud of points and all sorts of interesting stuff, and some new stuff. And if we go to wireframe, okay, same tools that we saw before, some maybe some new things, new capabilities and such. He's like, where's my activate? So the way this works now is I'm gonna go to my STL. I'm gonna click on it. And notice nothing. If I right mouse click on it and I go all the way to the bottom, I have my activate right over there. Now when I click on it, I no longer get that menu that pops up. I get this little ribbon, little strip that appears over the top of the STL indicating, hey, this is what you're modifying. This is what you're doing. And it's, once you get in here, after you use it a couple of times, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, the first icon is good or cancel, yes or no, yes or no. The next one is activate all or swap. Okay, so we have our swap there. And then the last one is the selection modes. Basically, how do you want to pick? Do you want to pick one by one? Do you want to trap? Do you want to brush? Or do you want to flood? So your selection modes are still there. I'm going to leave this on flood because that's how I want to pick over here. If I go to the right, you'll note that those are the options for that selection. If I go without angle and I come over here and I pick the seat cushion, I get all of that seat cushion because I'm saying flood, pick everything. If I do this down here, I get the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out. Now, I'm going to come in once again, right mouse click, STL, go to activate. Notice I did that out of the tree. And this time I'm going to come in here and go to brush. When I go to brush, I have my edit radius. How big of a radius do I want? Now, once again, if I right mouse click out here in space over the top of something, right, I get my properties, I show reframe on, nothing fancy there. But brush allows you to be specific about you know, what you want to brush, brush select. Next is what's called trap. All right, do I want a rectangular trap? Do I want a spline trap? Inside trap or outside trap? So all of the options are still there from that big menu that used to pop up, but it's now this little ribbon that pops up once the STL is selected. And you're saying, this is what I want. Okay, so I'll cancel that out. I'm gonna right mouse click again. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna say activate. How do I want to activate? Well, I want to change this to, once again, I'm going to go to flood. I don't want an angle. I'm going to pick my cushion and I'm going to select OK. And just like that, that's activated. I realized, oops, wait a minute. I want to pick something else or I want to change what I'm going to work on. So I can right mouse click on that again. I'm going to go back down to STL object and activate and I can either activate all or swap. All right, so I realize, well, you know what? Let me see what everything looks like. I'm gonna activate all. Now, if I go to cancel, it takes me right back to what I had when I came in. So that way, if I made a big boo-boo and I wanna go back to what I had before I started the process of doing my activation, just cancel and it returns you back to what you initially had. So once again, I can come in here, go to activate, and then I can swap and go, oh, you know what? Maybe I wanna work on this back, okay? So I pick the back and select okay, and that's all that I'm left with. Okay, one more time, or right mouse click, object, 
or STL object, activate. I'm going to swap. Okay, what do I want to work on now? So all the tools are still there. They're set up a little bit differently. Once you get used to it, you'll note that that little fly away, fly up ribbon is pretty quick. And in some ways, it's a little bit easier uh, to use than the big menu because sometimes, uh, you know, you look at the menu, you come in. I know I've done it a million times where I, I do something thoughtlessly and I'm like, oh, crap, I messed up. So uh, with this, just being able to cancel, go back to what you had before you went in there and started modifying things, or because it is that little ribbon, now you have to actually go look for that setting. And it kind of, in some ways, it's it's made me a, a little bit more efficient at using it. It took, it took a minute. I, I typically like my big menus. I'm old. I've been doing this for almost 30 years. So, you know, I like the old, I want everything here all at once type of thing. But um, this new interface has been uh, pretty good to me. So I do like it. And that is how you activate stuff in 3D Experience.